and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Winter Karma. Bringing this deck back, I know we only played it just a few days ago, um, but really like it and uh, changing up a little bit, just a few cards that I think that we had some cards underperform. So we had a uh, Kindly Tavern Keeper was a card that we tried in here. And, you know, it's against all the burn decks, and it's just not that great of a card in general. And so we're taking that card out and uh, getting an extra health potion in here, though. So we still have that against the burn decks. And then Wolf Rider was a little underwhelming because it's hard for us to trigger Plunder. And so instead of the Wolf Riders and the extra Tavern Keeper, we're getting Deep Meditation, get some more card draw, and, of course, Deny. So just two, two good quality spells in there. Um to help us, you know, get some more card draw and then be able to protect our champions and everything. But yeah, so we're basically pairing uh, these Freljord cards, a lot of Frostbite because of how strong Ash is with Rhymefang Wolf, and pairing that with um, some anti-control elements, be able to go longer, Shadow Assassin, Deep Meditation, Karma. We do have the, the combo of Karma plus Winter's Breath. If you have an Enlightened Karma, then Winter's Breath uh, is a one-sided kill all of your opponent's creatures. You know, just kind of have like some good tempo plays in here that we can do with a bunch of Frostbite to stay alive. So here we go. Let's play some Winter Karma. That's our next deck. Armed and a leg. Getting that resub in here. It says, love the MTG combat. Now loving the Rune Terra. Keep it up, my man. Thank you so much. Armed and legged. And thanks for that resub. <laughs> thanks, random loot, loot drop, also. Glad you like the tie. All right, let's uh, update our sub goal. Third sub of the day. Very nice. Thank you, Armed. Okay, we're playing a Sejuani deck. So another Freljord deck. Ooh, love it. I love the matching boards. This looks nice. I don't think I need Brittle Steel, do I? Maybe I do. Well, we're gonna send it back. Ooh, kinda want that Brittle Steel about now. This looks nice. Double Freljord board. I like it. Uh, no, it does not have a pro scene for this game right now, but yeah, they are um, working on tournaments right now. Tournaments are kind of, are like a little uh, underground, I guess you could say, uh, but there are there are some different tournaments and stuff, but that's, that's growing, and, um, you know, Riot's hiring more people. For that kind of stuff as well. So that'll get there. But you know, we just got just got mobile online and and yeah, we're working our way towards tournaments and stuff now too. Uh, Elixir of Iron, great card. good they didn't have another trick to kill my ash at least not yet good now we'll have elixir of iron to protect Ooh. My turn. We have karma don't really want to let them turn on plunder hmm Wow, just nothing? <laughs> Iceborne Legacy? Uh, I don't think that's exactly what I wanted. As the arrow flies. 
dude, no, it's it's okay. Feel free to keep asking questions. I, I like having questions in the chat. No need to apologize for asking questions. There's not going to be some kind of wrath that they're going to do. I feel like we're taking over this game, but... Who knows what can happen? My birthday's in February, so just but not too long ago. Do y'all think I should have winner's breath right there to keep Ash alive? Interesting. Stand and defend. This will be a good winter. Oh, an auspicious season. Still can keep Ash alive. And I guess I, I could have used the health potion also, even if they would have done the Sejuani, but I, I think at that point I I wouldn't want to use three cards, but I think Ash is worth two cards. I don't know, maybe I should be using the three cards anyway. This would hopefully mean that these things can't block if our leveled at if our leveled up Ash stays alive. And then we just attack him and kill him. I'll lead us to victory. This would be a good winter. Hooray! Winter Karma. That's pretty sweet. That's pretty sweet. The dogs like the new bed I made for him. Basically, there's there's a bed behind me that the dogs always sit in, but the other dog bed I kind of put it either on my left or right, and they just don't really sit in it. And so I kind of figured out that I think they sit in the one in the back because there's a pillow behind it. And so I found another old pillow and put it behind the the one over here. And now and now both dogs have been sitting in in the dog bed the other one now because there's the pillow they get to also kind of lay up against so good so they're both they're both nice and comfortable in a dog bed right now so i'm happy new hand please looks better I don't know, maybe I should have kept the karma. Maybe I should have kept karma. Oh my gosh, I just did an attack for two. I was gonna talk. Anyway, so basically what I was gonna be saying is the reason why to keep the karma would be... I don't know, just let them, let them challenge. Would be because if they level up Maokai, then all my champions go. All 
Alright, that's fine. Toad. If I make that attack, my Rhymefang Wolf then dies to Withering Will and Vile Feast, and I don't love that. have Deny available, that they have Grasp the Undying. If I would have pulled, if I would have had this challenge over there, I guess these would have traded. But yeah, yep, they would have had the wither, they had the vile feast. I'm glad I didn't attack with that Rhymefang Wolf the previous turn and then vile feast the Rhymefang Wolf because obviously getting that um, elusive sea monster off the battlefield was a lot more important than those little three ones I had. I will tend this garden. We'll bring peace to Ionia. Whatever the cost. Fresh is worth at least twice as much. Mm. That's really bad. That's really bad. I wish I would have kept up harsh winds. Jaw hunters? I didn't, I didn't really expect another Jaw hunters there. Okay, that's fine. Need to keep Deny available. In case they have another Vile Feast. I don't get to play the Deep Meditation. It's not worth playing the harsh winds and keeping those couple of things from blocking. It's not worth it.
Need to draw some cards before my whole library goes away. Not exactly the cards to draw. Um... Play this. And so I am the forest. That's unfortunate. We've really been running into these decks that they've just kind of always had turn 4 Maokai. And this time even another Maokai and just leveling up Maokai super fast. It's certainly been unfortunate for us. Yeah, I forgot about how they get that free, free thing. So let's see, 11, 12, 13. Let's see, so 11, 15, 17, 19. Okay. So if they don't have any removal... removal. We have lethal. I have an elixir of iron for protection. I have removal. Yep. This is... This is not going to go well for me. I only have two cards left in my deck. You know, I kind of just need to go for it with two cards left. Yeah, we're not going to win this now. Why do I have to have the second? Oh, okay. Even the first. Like, that's like... Is there other ways to lose to that deck? I guess if the games go super, super long. But the, the, the thing about the games going super long is that the Ash is just going to beat their sea monsters. I feel like Maokai leveling up fast is the only way we lose, but I guess that could just be um, famous last words here. What's up, Silky Mitts? Thanks for the tier one sub. Thank you, Silky Mitts. That gets us to sub number four, so we're only one sub away from our sub goal. How did the Tusk Raider ramp feel? It was very weak to Ionia, just like Will of Ionia in particular, but also Deny, the Ionia region. Deck felt very weak too. Yep. Please don't have. I like I like four four shadow assassin. I do like that. Please don't have Maokai this turn. Please. Just don't. That Jaw Hunters they had? Remember after they played their second Maokai? Turn 7. That with Jaw Hunters. That gave them the ability to kill, basically kill my Ash and my... Um, Yeah, my karma. A chill in the air.
So if I don't block, we just have to wait for the Shadow Assassin to kill him, basically. Or I could block and start clearing these things off for our other threats. Waiting for Shadow Assassin to kill him is a pretty long game plan. But all blocking does is help turn on their game plan. It's a difficult decision. If it's a fight they want. I think we do block. All right, Raya Vale. Yeah, have have a good evening. Should have jump blocked with his Omen Hawk. Oh, thanks, Silky Mints. Thank you. And yeah, I'm I'm uh, very happy and proud and honored for the support. So thank you. Dogs thought there was somebody in the backyard or something. They went running back there. But they've calmed down now, so I think we're good. Says Mister, that's your fault. That is your fault. Says at least they didn't have Vile Feast. So then obviously the next card they play is Vile Feast. Obviously that was gonna happen. Yeah, I didn't think they were really attacking there anyway. Wanted to save the Icefield Archer. But I'm really glad they never they haven't played Maokai. Still have a ton of life. It is difficult. Like they are very good at defense on the ground. I think it's a 7-7. Seven, seven. Attacking with Starlet Seer. Yeah.
Brittle Steel could have had you last turn. Against that 3-2 Life Steel. Been perfect to have a Brittle Steel at that point. Yeah, that card's good. We understand. It's good. So my plan, of course, is the Winter's Breath. My spirit is an unquenchable fire. I kind of want them to play more sea monsters first before I Winter's Breath. So how... How greedy can we get? The problem is, of course, if they have removal for Karma. Then I feel worse. So like, can we play Icefield Archer first? Like, basically, I could Winter's Breath right now and just take out these two. Do I just do that? Or do I get greedier, play the Ice Veil Archer, let them play stuff, and then play another thing, and then Winter's Breath? Um. Yeah, it's got it's got to just be Winter's Breath now, right? It's it's probably just too greedy to wait. I mean, I do have like Retreat that I get to bounce if they had removal. This also means they have to put, pay, you know, full price for their sea monsters. They don't get to pay them for, for less. And if they have another sea monster, I still have Ice Veil Archer on it, and the you know, and they're paying full price, of course, and then challenge with Rhyme Fang Wolf. So it's probably just best to play this Winter's Breath right now. But obviously. The greed in me wants to wait and wants to keep passing and say, go ahead, play some more, play some more, play some more. I'm pretty glad I didn't wait for the greed in me if they got spells. They're shuffling Karma back into the deck. And sacrificing to kill Hearthguard. So I guess I just let Karma go back in the deck. Well, let's see. If I bounce my Karma, then they don't get a Nautilus back in their deck? That could be important, not letting them get a Nautilus. I guess if you think about it, it's really like both of our things are dying. It's not like, okay, well, we'll, we'll save the Hearth Guard because it's going to die and let the Karma go back in the deck. Basically, the Karma shuffling back into the deck is basically it dying. So we might as well bounce this and keep them from putting another Nautilus in their deck. Oh, that's a play trigger. Well, I feel silly. Should have just cast it. That was silly. Um... Anyway, Orb! Orb with the sub! Yo, get those hype boats in the chat. Or poor getting the brand new sub. And hits us hits our sub goal. Awesome. See if 
shuffle Karma back into the deck, the uh, you know Karma would have just been gone. The rot must be cut away. Pretty glad we drew that ash before all of our champions went away. Hey, Orb, thank you. save uh, harsh winds Avarosa, guide me. brittle steel does the same thing make it so neither of the things can block alright winter karma 2 and 1 they didn't have early Maokai. Gave us a little bit of time. And that Ash draw was pretty nice. So there we go. GG's. Alright, so we just hit our sub goal. As you all know, the sub goals go towards the next 10 hour stream. I kind of feel like I like 12 hours is maybe a little too much for me. I think we may change this to 10 hour stream goals. We hit 10 sub goals, we do 10 hour stream. And that makes that kind of even, 10 and 10. We're now at three sub goals since our last 10 hour stream from yesterday. So we're already 30% of the way there, three out of 10. If we hit a sub goal every day, we do a 10 hour stream every 10 days. Get rid of Shadow Assassin. I want like elixir of iron, brittle steel, that kind of stuff to go to help protect these things, like a one a nice one mana spell. <laughs> yeah, ranking of masters and stuff. Yeah, no, we we just kinda constantly drop. <laughs> Cause yeah, like you lose, you go down ten, you win, you go up three, and it's like ugh. You stay around five hundred, you just keep dropping, and that's what we have been doing. Warmonger, hey, finally got patch 1 1. Alright. Yeah, excited for. Yeah, patch 1 2 will get buffs and nerfs. Is that a week from today already? What's today? No, that will be two weeks from today. Two weeks from today, we'll get that patch. It's gonna be. It's the, the last week of the month. They are. They changed that. Please don't play standalone. Don't do that. Do not deny me. No, don't do that. Shadows cut deep as any weapon. Literally said, Stay don't back. play standalone. Did you hear the contraction there? Do not. Yes, yeah, like what are the, yeah, what are the cards? I'll say maybe Boom Crew Rookie. The thing is, is like, control is everywhere at the top these days. You really don't even see aggro anymore. So if like if, you know Boom Crew Rookie's nerfed, 
Can see any aggro? Strength in grace, beauty in the blade. Swiftly now. Is this supposed to be a challenge? I don't know. Probably not. Blessed by snow and stars. Yeah, I I could see Grizzled Ranger. I could honestly see I could honestly see something happening with like Karma. You know, Karma and Ezreal were on their watch list before. I, I could see something happening with Karma. I don't know what that would be. I just feel like just the the control cards are kind of like controls everywhere like what are they gonna like are they okay with that are they okay with just every like all these decks being control decks i don't know it's karma and vi and then kind of to a little bit less, lesser extent but then twisted fate like, those are the things that are kind of everywhere right now hey I don't think they would like change Vi because they just they just printed Vi. Like I don't think I don't think that will change. So I'm guessing my opponent has a rally. Yes, they do. I don't really know if this is gonna work. I'm basically trying. I'm trying to either have this kill the Zed, or if this doesn't work, maybe Zed still has zero power, and then Winter's Breath will kill the enemy with zero power. Basically, the only way that that happens is if they like, I don't know, Will of Ionia, my Rhyme Fang Wolf. Because like, if they pump Zed at all, then it doesn't have zero power anymore. So then Winter's Breath doesn't work. So, oh wow, that worked. Okay, so they're just planning on. They're just planning on, like, rally here, right? Probably. And I guess it's better to play this blocker than just play Winner's Breath, I think. Show them the way. Huh. Feel like we have a little bit of a chance. No! There goes our chance. Alright, come on, Brittle Steel. Brittle Steel. Well, harsh winds. I hope they don't have another rally. Well, I guess if they have another rally, they're only, what, doing two? Like, they play Shadow Assassin Rally? If they have... 
If they have another Solitary Monk and a Rally, if they have both of those, we lose. If not, we probably win. Or, right, they just stand alone, right? They could... That's also a lot easier. Dang. A lost battle, not a lost war. So close. So close. That was a good game, though. It was a good game. Sorry. Um, mulligan everything. Uh, keep looks are fine. I am one with the land. this what's this what's this Winter take you. barriers everywhere what's this what's this there's no shen in their deck y'all think it's possible to play shen in a different region that's not Demacia. I know I could have stopped that question after the word Shen and just said, do y'all think it's possible to play Shen? But that's a fair question. But besides that, is it possible to play Shen without playing Demacia? And not, not have, like, a great deck, but just have, like, a, you know, a deck that can win, like, 45% of the time. 40% of the time. Is that even possible? And if not, why aren't they changing Shen? Like, why, why is that not getting buffed? If that's not even possible. If you can't even make it... If it's not even possible to make a deck where you win 40% of the time without playing Demacia, like a different region with Shen. <laughs> How is that the champion? So this isn't really a battle that I want to fight. Obviously we can have we can block like one of these and save Ash, but that's not really the battle that I want to fight. If I do that, then I don't get to protect Ash attacking, and I want to protect Ash attacking. Well that makes my life better. I was gonna play the Hearth Guard this turn, but Yeah, we'll just do this.
Grizzled Ranger. Maybe we'll play Karma instead of Hearthguard. Start getting some free spells. Hey, Elliot. Uh, what rank are we? We are somewhere around 280 or so. Somewhere around there. Okay, awesome. Yeah, only been playing two days. Yeah, that's exactly where you should probably be. That's, that's good. Hitting bronze after two days, that's really good. Out of five for Ash. how to get better and become a smarter player really just I mean playing more you know the more you play the more experience you get with all of the different decks the different spells they play that you can kind of play around and know about and everything like that just just keep playing and keep learning and you know keep keep your eyes open keep um, you know focusing on what's what's winning games and that kind of stuff Uh -huh, there you go. Gamma says it's not about becoming smarter, but having confidence in your ability. I like that. Yeah, have confidence in your ability. One banner, one destiny. Head to the base. It's still their turn. Time to get rowdy. I guess so. Do y'all think that, that Grizzled Ranger is going to get nerfed? The card is kind of unbeatable. But I also don't really... I'd be surprised if they nerfed something they just released a month ago. So in that respect, I would be surprised. Definitely a really good turn for them. They got 13 damage in, put me from 17 down to 4. I was like, where did this come from?
Okay, change the board. We gotta change the board channel points. Oh, this is our <laughs> boot. That was the wrong time to do it. This is our last game of the night. This is game number five of our last deck. Do y'all think I should be denying that instead of Fury of the North? I'm thinking like Fury of the North, like maybe they're dead. But like, deny may not have like any better things to hit later on. But, they dead. Good job, Ash. A new Freljord will rise. GG's. So there's our Winter Karma. This deck was pretty sweet. I liked, to, I liked having Deep Meditation and Deny in here. It's a pretty cool deck to play. Um, yeah, you know, like we got, we got milled out that one game by Maokai, which is mean. Um... But yeah, you know, like we, I like our, our one mana interaction. That's pretty good. Our deck can run out of cards. And so the deep meditation is nice to help against that. I wonder if there's like better things to be doing than Hearthguard. Like maybe we should just be playing more spells instead of Hearthguard. Like more, more card draw, like deep meditation and stuff. Potentially. Um, I could see that. Hearth card does seem kind of slow, like, you know, like, we're playing, like, Karma at that point. Maybe, maybe we want, like, um, another Deep Meditation and then maybe, like, some Twin Disciplines to protect Ash and Karma. Or maybe just, or maybe just some Babbling Bjergs. Play them, get the card advantage there where, like, instead of Hearth card, where Babbling Bjerg draws Ash. Because it'll be our only 5 power thing. That could be nice, too. There's a lot of cards to play, like... Like, I wouldn't mind having Spirit's Refuge or Will of Ionia, you know, or another Deny, more Deep Meditation. Like, that's a lot of good cards to play, just finding the right mix. I wasn't, like, super thrilled about Avarez and Hearthguard kind of ever, though, for how expensive it is. But I do think our deck needs more, more cards. So maybe a mix there of um, Deep Meditation, Babbling Bjerg instead of hearth garden i don't know i don't know though you think hearth guards worse than those so it would maybe be like two bjerg one one deep meditation instead of those yeah we just don't have time to really take advantage of like those those little plus one plus ones on on some stuff um and like this like helps us find ash because ash is so important and the thing about Ash is Ash is good having multiples because it turns into Flash Freeze. That's a good spell to be playing. And shuffle into your deck and find more. And then, yeah, if we're playing more spells, you know, Deep Meditation, I could definitely see that being better. Hearth cards we just didn't have time for. So that's Winter Karma. Those of y'all watching on YouTube, let me know. What do you think of this change? What do you think of taking out Hearthguard and playing two Babbling Bjerg and a Deep Meditation instead? Um, Babbling Bjerg would give us another thing to play on turn four besides just Ash. I also kind of want to play Twin Disciplines. So like maybe should some of those be Twin Disciplines? Like maybe just two Meditation, one Twin Discipline. I don't know. Yeah, leave those comments on YouTube. What do you think? What do you think we should do with those three slots? Do we play one Bjerg, three Meditation? You know, basically we have... If we take out the three Hearth cards and you got three open slots, how would you play kind of these three cards right here? Twin Disciplines, Babbling Bjerg, Deep Meditation. I think these are the three cards I want to play the most. So what what do we do with, with them, though? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I would probably say... Two Bjerg, one Disciplines. That'd be, that's what I'm going to go with. 
That's what I'll go with. Yeah, let me know. All right, that's it here for Winter Karma. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.